we have uh, naming the main character. And right now, we have Cat Boo at $130 and B exclamation point at $111. We also have the Name the Town incentive for our Tecmo Secret of the Stars. Right now, Canada is winning at $81. Hyde Lied is in second at $25. And B! Exclamation point is in third at $23. We also have the Blindfold S-Star menu for Final Fantasy VIII. It's currently at $651 out of $750. Now, if you want to check out the incentives and the prizes for this marathon, you can go to rpglimitbreak.com, and there will be links to the, both the donation tracker and the prizes. And speaking of prizes, we have a grand prize of a Nintendo Switch with Disgaea 5 and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's a very nice prize. It's a $75 bid, but you can actually bid throughout the marathon and it's cumulative. So you don't have to do it all in one shot. And we have two prizes for this block. We have the Chaos Dunk Pillowcase from Skull Kitty at $10 uh, in one bid. And this book, the Bad Translation Video Games from Fat Fan Gamer for, for any bid that's $5 or above. We have $50 from an anonymous donor. Thanks to RPG Limit Break for this event to raise money for Nami. Donation is Railkun's choice. Good luck with your run, Rail Mom. Now, for those of you who just joined us from Barkley, this is uh, not a Chaos Dunk Simulation Marathon, but it is actually RPG Limit Break 2018. And it's coming from you from Salt Lake City, Utah. We are raising money for NAMI, the National Alliance of Mental Illness, uh, a charity formed in 1979 as a grassroots advocacy or organization by a group of parents whose children suffered from serious mental illness. さあ次のゲームは、えー、ウエスト・オブ・ロ,ローシングであったりかなですね、これはですね、えーまあ、昔、キングダム・オブ・ローシングっていうブ、あのー、<笑>ラウザーゲーがあり,、あのー、ありまして、それの。続編なのか、まあ、世界観が共有しているゲームです。Awesome. Alright, so Silly Walking made it in, so we're also going to turn on colorblind mode. Wait, 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 hang on. I'm going to stop you right there. I thought this game was black. Ah, 歩き方が。なんだこの歩き方。ドネーションでこうなったのかな。なんかあの。We are leaving our farm to seek our fortune, fame, or whatever, but we're not choosing because we skipped all the rules. ドネーションでですね、あの歩き方を変更するっていう。We're really good at this. Hang on. <笑>ドネーションがありまして<笑>、で、それで、そういう歩き方にはしてる感じですね。名前がバークレーという前のゲーム引きずってる。エクソシストですね<笑>。これがバーク,<笑>バークレーの続編ですね<笑>。実はもう開発されてたって。さあ、12万ドルを使ってできたゲームがこれですね。<笑>懐かしいな、エクソシスト。エクソシストの,しあの CM が怖すぎて、当時はもうテレビ見れなかったですよ。僕は Inventory is empty and you pick up an item, it'll automatically equip it. So, 
what we're going to be doing here is at the end of the game. Ah, this game is very difficult. At the end of the game, there is going to be a man who is the Emperor of Earth and is upset because he can't find his crown. So, in order to skip the final dungeon, we can give him a crown. There's several different ways to get a crown. One is by defeating the Necromancer, and several other side quests you can do that all give crowns. Instead, we need 5,000 meat because meat is the currency. Because the arcing cutter is a lot of shit, yeah, right? Because because it's West of Loathing. Okay. And we also need to go buy a little bit more dynamite here because we didn't get lucky on finding some. So we'll buy three dynamite. We're gonna head up to. We need to wander because we need to find the silversmith's house, and this is completely RNG. What's bit. the longest you've actually had to spend waiting to find this? I don't know. What did you say it was? The silversmith's house. There we go. We're gonna pick up an extra needle for safety because if we get unlucky, we might be one needle short, and we're still just looking for the silversmith's house. This isn't. Ah, いまだにまだ戦闘らしい戦闘は起きてませんが。The Dave Yard. Yes, you're all Daves. The Shaggy Dog Cave over there is a long series of lore on the wall that winds up being just a long, pointless story because this is Shaggy Dog's story. It's great like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade our horn swoggling and put our Moxie to four, because then with oop, we need to drink the wine. That's why. With the wine we picked up in the Spider Cave. It gives us five moxie. We're gonna learn about lock picking. Ah, world map is completely random. We can't just move. What the hell is that? Fine, we can just do that to get it. Now we're going to go to the railroad camp because in order to get to the end of the game, we need to help them finish the railroad. But when we get to the railroad, they're very upset because there's some rocks. Ah, world map is completely random. They don't have any dynamite to clear it out, so the owner of the railroad is really frustrated, and he just gives us the railroad. Oh yeah. <laughs> and his assistant over there, who has been helping him through all of his incompetence, isn't very pleased about him having the railway given away. But <laughs> he's just going to put up with it and help us out with clearing out the tracks. So we need to go in here to learn bird calls. Ah, and then we need to find out that there's a key in the desk here. Uh, find the key in the desk for, to open up the cave. Then we're going to go in here. There's a play in progress. So we're going to watch from backstage to learn the plot. And we're going to break into a... Cafe and learn that somebody's supposed to be on shift, but they're not there. So this guy, we're gonna spoil the ending of the play, and he's gonna run away sad. We're gonna make a bird call for this guy, and he's gonna run away to chase it. And then we can remind this guy that he's supposed to be on shift at the cafe to skip all three of those fights. Yeah, I was about to ask. All that stuff, I'm sure, was important, and then it's all right there in that cave. Yep. So then we're gonna spend five thousand meat to silver plate our turnip, and for some reason that counts as a turnip crown. So we're gonna use that later on. But right now we need to go back over here to the railroad because we have the dynamite for them. Well, you mean that this one? Arc, arc, no pattern. So we upgraded our horn swag. You mean that it's not covered? Not in the right. Ah, covered? Not in the right. And we're going to convince them to go away. Yeah. So this game is based on the old browser game of West Kingdom of Loathing, which has a very similar sense of humor. It's the precursor to a lot of the current. Mobile games where you have energy and you have to spend that energy in order to do anything. It's still up if you're curious. It's a very strange game with a very particular sense of humor, is what we will say. So what we're gonna do is we need to look in the spittoon, pull out a gun, and then the spittoon was so hot that we got heat resistance by pulling it out. That makes perfect sense. Because we need to get heat resistance, so we're going to get cold resistance. So we're coming up on the next split path of the game, where the next thing that the railroad is going to run into is that they need to finish building a bridge, because it's not done. It was supposed to be done, and there's multiple ways of finishing to build the bridge. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the town of Redwood. These guys don't like us, and they want to get in our way, so we just throw dynamite at them. Ah, that's funny. 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 And that skips that entire battle. So when we go to Breadwood, the mayor is like, yeah, we can give you some wood, but we've got a lot of problems. You need to help us out with some of them. So we need to do five of the seven tasks, which is what we've already been working towards. So that's one. Now the only way to accept that is to go through all this. That's four, five, six, seven. Oh, we talked to him an extra time on accident. Now we already found the grain for the bread. So we're gonna have to give that to the big boys because. We'll explain that when we get there. But now the 
overdue library book is at the ranch here. And we've got some angry cows in the way. But the dynamite, or a combat item that does 20 damage, but doesn't consume your turn. Oh, <laughs> so we're just going to throw lots of dynamite at the cows. It's <laughs> going pretty well. <laughs> um, they were, two of them were 40 or under, and the other one was just over. Yeah, it's good luck uh, we'll we get them under, because then it only takes two dynamite. But the, the health values of enemies are random in this game. And we needed to make sure we had at least six for this fight. Because he can have a lot of HP, but we've got どんどん. eight left over, so we're fine. Uh, why don't we let me throw the dynamite. Click. There we go. We somehow selected an empty square, so it didn't want to let us throw it. Just dynamite and dynamite. So we found the overdue library book. It's mostly burned, but that's fine. And the yeast golem, we killed him and took half a ton of yeast. Uh, so we have the yeast for town. The military caretaker of the funeral is missing, so we come in here and find a flyer for military reenactments. So we're gonna have to go down there and check him out. And now we're gonna go to the Baker Boys hideouts, and they tell us that they spent all of their money buying the bakery, so they don't have enough money to start baking bread. Buddy. So we give them our infinite supply of grain that we found at the ranch. Don't question it. And now we're gonna go to the soup, soup stock load, where they mine soup. And we need to level up Wait, our- Did you just say mine soup? Yes, yeah. mine soup. But the elevator is broken, <laughs> so we need to get a wrench to fix the elevator. <laughs> this is what you donated for, <laughs> stupid walking. <laughs> And the puzzle here is the same every time, so we go one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. I admit did it wrong. Okay, well hang on. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the elevator every time. Now, the reason why we need the heat resistance is that down at the bottom floor, there's just oh, we're getting close to the lower layers of soup, and it's really hot. <laughs> so there's a lot of heat coming up through the floor because of all the soup below us, and we need heat resistance to be able to get to this last bit of soup. The one thing that we didn't really mention is that we picked the dark horse at the beginning because uh, all the horses have a special effect. And the dark horse lets you run away from what are normally unskippable random encounters. So we come to the fort and we found out that instead of uh, military and maps, it's like a war game. And we just convince him that he needs to go home. So now we tell the mayor that we did everything he wanted to do. He gives us some wood so we can finish building the bridge. We go back to the railroad camp and we are almost done. So now we're just going to make our way over to the assistant, who totally should be owning the railroad and not us. But hey, we're going to give him all the wood that he needs, and they're going to build the railroad over to Frisco. And that's where we're going to find the Frisco. grumpy old man who demands that somebody stole his crown, and he won't let us pass unless we give it to him. So we give him the silver turnip. He seems fine with it. And then we go to the final cutscene, and that is the end. Oh. So then it shows us where all the uh, side quests that we did. Spoiler alert, we didn't do any of them. Oh, and then <laughs> the huge army of cows charged in on the town. <laughs> but <laughs> at the last <laughs> moment, a bunch of rodeo clowns came in and sl slayed all of them. And even though everything seemed like it was okay, then townsfolk had nightmares. Oh, it was done. Sweet. Jien <laughs> dote. So that was nine minutes. It's pretty good. Good job, Charles. Blessed of loathing. What the meat is? Applause for Charles Barkley. Yay, Barkley! <laughs> Honestly, uh, I've played a little bit of this game. It's it's class, uh, you should all go try it, it's, okay? It's very cheap. It's actually a very good game with a lot of content. It's Barkley shut up and the same. It's all hand up. And everything's just really well written, really fun. There's speed run skip most of it, but all of it, sorry. Be specific. Yeah, um, but, just from the writing alone, it's worth the buy. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Might be the I would say easily the funniest game that's come out this year. But thanks everybody. I don't even know what's coming out in the future. Doesn't matter. Alright, see y'all. Thank you. <laughs> what the And we have some new donations that came in. We have fifty dollars from an anonymous donor. Thanks to RPG Limit Break for this event to raise money for Nami. A $40 donation from an anonymous donor. I had to donate in recognition of a fantastic run of a fantastic game and to help the best possible character name get into the Secret of Stars run. Speaking of Secret of Stars, let's see how that bit is going because we only have two more runs until Secret of the Stars happens. For name the party members, uh, doesn't seem like it's changed, but for those who, 
who want to know what the first three choices are, it's Wump, Bad Bad, and Ever Hate. Or Ever HT. And since the top four names are used, it's worth noting that the fourth name is Anime. あ、スイッチでも出てるんだ。ついこんで返されたゲームだったということで。フォーネーミングタウン、カナダイズインドロー。オモニアルキタネオダネ使ったんですかね。フォーネーミングタウン、カナダイズインドロー。オモニアルキ